Hey, what's going on, guys? Explode A11 back here with another video, and in today's video, we are going to be playing some Atomic Heart, and we're finally going to be starting our Atomic Heart journey. Now, just a little preface I don't really know much about this game in terms of, I guess, story. All I really know is this is set in alternative timeline, a lot of things are futuristic, and from what I've heard, the USSR in this, you know, Russia, Soviet Union is the dominating world power that's all i know and apparently it's set in 1955 but it's very futuristic which i think sounds like a cool uh, idea you know so yeah well before we get into this i have a couple uh, additional content i need to turn on so uh ak47 reskin a star reskin don't know what that is and the glove reskin. I do know the glove reskin. It gives me a nice, cool golden glove. What's the star? Oh, that's the star. Oh, and it makes it nice and gold. Okay. I like it. So, now we have to choose difficulty. We have Peaceful Atom, Local Malfunction, or Armageddon. Now, Armageddon looks very painful. And Peaceful Atom looks boring. So I'm just going to pick local malfunction, you know? You know, average, kind of like normal mode. Charles tip, the modern world is filled with robots and virtual... D uh, whatever. I love the carefree approach you take to yourself and the world around you, Comrade Major, but believe me. Don't constantly rush about. Sometimes it pays to take a minute to stop and consider how Earth it all, all came of it. I didn't read that right, did I? I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelele complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it go? Oh, that's Charles. Been here before. Can we make it to the speech? Oh, we got a plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Whoa, it actually looks very good. So we're P3. Well, that's our name. I'm guessing we're Comrade Major. And the glove is Charles. That's a robot there. There's a Russian poster there. I don't know Russian. So, bear with me. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Yes, please. Oh, there's dialogue options. Now get sure, that. Yeah, sure. I mean, I didn't get to pick, but I'll have some more. I think because I pressed one by accident. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Oh god. Yeah, I noticed. Robot. Why is the robot getting taken on the boat? Wow, what a beautiful day. It is. It is a really beautiful day. That's a pig? They're just passing around the boxes. Do I need to remember that? Maybe for a secret? 0451. What celebration? Whoa, what's in that? Oh, just some plants. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. Chef Sechenov. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Why? I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. 
I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Stockhausen. Okay. I call Stockhausen. Robot juggling. All Stockhausen. Waiting for you the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. Okay, guessing we're getting out the cutscene now. That's not really a cutscene, but you know. Reach of a park. Anything to do around here? Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. I'm getting an idea that uh, Comrade Major doesn't really like robots. From what I'm hearing. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Good day, okay. Comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No thanks, I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. Uh, it no. Can even match your eye color. Well, no. How about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. Okay. At the moment, the device functions as sure, a why not? telephone I guess. set and headlight. But it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Okay. All right then. Ah uh, yes, the pink one. Uh, what's the point of this exactly? Where you can read my oh, thoughts. That's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. No thanks. I'm all set. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? I guess. I don't have any time. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. The newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, our newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, sure. may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. Lousy prick. Built-in menu. I'd rather not have a tour right seems now. So happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. Okay. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Well, that's good to hear, I guess. Guessing this is the facility. Oh, it, something came up there. 
Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education. I'm gonna turn down the audio a bit just because. I mean, it's not too loud for me, but. Turn down mastering. Music volume can be a bit lower. Dialogue can stay at the sound effects. Environmental. I like. There we go. Radio, I guess that could be important. Streamer mode. Nah, that's fine. You want a university level natural sciences curriculum, for example? And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Okay. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Um, okay. What does this say? So I could read it now if I look at it. Until the launch... Until the launch of new collective, two days left. Oh, what's this? Some kind of capsule, she said. But for what? Yeah, my glove wants it. Oh. What has that done? You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Okay. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. Okay. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, Doc. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> okay, uh, alt to scan. Okay. For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde Oh my god, please shut up. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Okay. Leave the lab. Oh, what does this say? It's coming. What are these guys doing? Something with... I don't know. They're making a robot here. It's like they're mixing chemicals or something. Let's just change the freaking... I just keep having to change my settings. So I don't know what's good. a good setting. Or we have the juggling robot. Okay, we need to leave now. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. That is a lot of robots. I am Dimitri Sechenov, and this is Facility 
Or we need to stand still to hear him. Okay. Sounds legit. The car is waiting. Must go to Dr. Setinov's office for the access code. The new left is one of the spotty cars. Yeah, absolutely. It will allow. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just science. Our elevator has a Okay, what's this? Oh, the elevator. Okay. 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 Oh, here's those sisters. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacle signs cannot serve other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here's your vehicle activation code, Common Major. Thank you. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chelemet? It's great, I guess. Boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discovery. One day we'll reach the star. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dream. Well, thank you. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, these days. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. Yeah, maybe That's for good reason. Come in so Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. You need to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, You'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, let's do that then. Let's do it. 
Are we actually gonna are we gonna get in the car? I'm guessing we're not gonna drive it. Oh, is that robot going to carry us? Oh, that robot's going to take me. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in there? What's the point of being in a car then? Yeah, I just get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from the South. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage. St. Peter's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Azur. How about some music? Where's the music? There we go. It's more like it. Don't know if it's copyright. I might need to turn streamer mode on, but I don't think. I don't think so. Are we in the clouds? This is city in the clouds. I see you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. See how good? Yeah, all mine, sir. What? Did you just say? Wait, what? the signals on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. That's definitely not what he said. I'm pretty sure he said mine, Fira. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Yes, I don't have any respect for brown users. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough. But why okay. is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pits before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, love. Oh, shut up, I'm Charles. To, to what? Is there anything here you haven't seen? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. I'm already getting annoyed of Charles. At least the game looks nice. It looks very good. Pretty good music as well. Or do I have a feeling this is going to go south very quickly? I just don't know how. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. Nice. We can now observe the Sony's Granny Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are okay. by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Uh huh. Who's that? I'm guessing he's dead. 
You can now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. But where are we going? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Directly below is Dr. Sejanov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Magra train lines. Uh huh. Magra train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. I mean, yeah, that's what I imagined they did. The majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Babylon Park. Okay. The site where facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the collective 1.0 neural network with the help of robot builders. Beautiful. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Well, that's good, I guess. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Very good, my friend. The trope is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? Wait, what the fuck? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? What the Oh, well, what the- Shit! Until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Well... That is not very kind. Yes, I have- Yes, oh, I have reached my destination. Okay, thank you. Why are those robots looking at me? Hostile. Oh, that's great. Oh. Really? Can 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 we please get taken away? Well, it worked. Oh. What's happening? Oh, help me, comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Uh, ooh. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Bam! Atomic Heart. Title Card. Okay, we can actually get into the game now. What happened? Guessing the robots malfunctioned. But how and why?
Stop grumbling. I mean, you're not dead yet, are you? So, you're fine. You'll be fine. Oh, is that an axe? Cool. This is P3. Come in. What is this? Oh. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into collectors. Oh. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collector's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack the Soviet employees. Petrov has the access codes to the hub. The mission is to find it and bring it to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him in here. Exactly. Section of that. Okay, let's do this. I saw some robots over there. Yeah, let's test it out. I mean, it works. Some kind of merging as well, as well here. Don't know what this is for. I've swum through polymer plenty of times and haven't drowned yet. Freaking miracle of modern science. Yeah, but how does this? do anything for me exactly. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, I don't get what the point of that is. Is there like... Oh, see the robots here. Oh, so I'm guessing that means I should dodge. It wasn't too bad. Oh, F to loot. Oh, I thought I need to break them open to loot. Oh, the piggy. Oh. I'm sorry, Piggy. An ultra scan. What does that mean? Does that mean like a secret? Holy shit. What the fuck is that? Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. I can literally see and hear that a robot. But okay, Major. Yep, I know it. Shit, get away from me. No, I'm not going down there. Stop it. Ow. Oh, go fuck yourself. That doesn't feel pain, does he? He's just a robot. Oops! Oh, it's that old lady we saw earlier. What are you gawking at? 
Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. No, oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. Okay. That's all you need to know. That's all I need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. Well, that's I not really good. I really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! Okay. It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Oh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. I think we're already royally fucked. No good. Get over here, Pretty beefcake. Pretty sure we are already now, 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 royally now. fucked. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. Okay. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, shit. Yeah, out of ammo. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh, okay, what is that? Is that a rocket launcher? Yep. Holy shit! Whoops! Oh, well, we're going down. Are we gonna land anytime soon? Boom, there we go. Okay. Well, we made it down. Ah, yes. A good time for a cigarette. As always, anytime is a good time. What a goddamn clusterfuck. No. Oh, oh, where did it? There we go. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum Union. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's that was a what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. What is this? This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Katerina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in. Hey, who's that? audio logs. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Oh, is this... that area, I'm guessing. Put the handle on. There we go. Turn the handle and open the door. Okay. I have a feeling this is definitely a trap. 
Nope. Oh. Well, it wasn't a trap. Cheers for the shotgun, though. Safe areas, okay. Nice bed. Save. Where's... Got some shotgun shells. I have four. Oh, I know. How many can I have in one clip? Oh, that's cool. It just saves. You just need to click it. You don't need to load anything. Forward is forearmed. Enemies can perform. Okay, to dash. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shingo, why didn't you tell me that before? It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it. Then we store them to Is the there nothing in this? Upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Burabyova. Mm -hmm. My orders are to document everything. You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me. And let me through. And don't call me Comrade Burabyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Oh. Uh, but we are allowed to let you through, Comrade uh, Granny Zena. Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here. I don't let you through right this instant. Or I'll come back later. Somebody else will be cooling his ears in here. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Watch your step. <coughs> so Granny Zena looks like as a high ranking soldier. No wonder she's so good at weapons and stuff. Yeah, you can do sneak attacks, that's cool. Oh, okay. Another audio log. How to keep me high up. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab test 84, bring Comrade Cold Frost to the sea. I'll be with you in a second. Okay? It seems like that didn't go too well. Guessing the robot killed them. Why does it keep just going away? The search. It just keeps... Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Okay. Have the following employees from the pesticide workshop escort the victim A, Nailova, to Yavalo Complex. All these employees are to retrieve additional hazard pay for free working days, drop the paperwork for the, f for the trip, and make sure it gets done. Be kinder. From Dr. A. Reefia to security staff. I would like to remind our comrades in the, our comrades in the security department that the days of comrades, Comrade Stalin's purges are over. Yes, for people carrying out that s sentences at Yav Yavalov have committed various crimes, but they're still human beings and they're still our comrades. How we treat them will determine whether or not they learn a lesson from their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. However, 
I've heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly. Let's remind you that this is either neither a panel colony nor a prison. Be kind to my friends. Okay. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, comrade. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Okay. Oh, lockpick. bit confusing because it's like what is it then there we go Oh, I so forgot to dodge. A handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union. Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that uh -huh. causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without the trouble. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Aha, uh -huh. and we don't want that, I'm guessing. Shotgun shells. Okay, we've done our exploration through this area. I see and hear some robots. Oh. Ha. Are you gonna come out? Nope. I'm guessing... Ooh. Nice one. Oh, I tried to dodge, what the fuck? I literally dodged, but then it wouldn't, like, register. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We blocked the magnetic door to the cable No entry. Tunnel, but I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan. Is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Well, seems like they're dead. Oh, come on, you prick. Okay, well I'm guessing L didn't make it. But I'm gonna guess. What's over here? Hey Chuck, Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are. Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason was struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Anything else here? Yep. Oh, so it tells you if there's anything still in there. Wait, open that. There we go.
Well, let's get back to the main objective. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That is... Okay. Oh, so I was gonna go here eventually. Oh, shit! What the fuck is that? Well, I am dead. Come on, get up, soldier. Oh no. Just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Four. Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> oh, that guy's bleeding. Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me then. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neural polymer, We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know I what mean, you're yeah, of you course. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. And probably because I have a. Oh! Larissa! No! I don't want to die! LOL! Oh, hi there. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Yeah, no shit. There we go. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching guns. Fine. I can deal with it later. But that wasn't too hard, was it? I just used all of my shotgun because I saved it all up. There we go. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Good work. <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Okay. Looks like a safe room, though. It is. Small. Oh. So small healable blueprint. What the fuck? Fuck me! What the fuck? No, I'm an ice Christian man. No, no. Let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you Am I supposed to do something? Let me you. No, okay, it's a cutscene. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying, I'm trying. One strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. And I think for my master, what can I do for you? Um, I don't know, what do you do? Your skills will become available to you soon. But choose shock for now. Okay. I got shock. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Sam Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I'm Around the pack. Upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. 
Oh, I need to install it, okay. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome, but I can do so much more. A quick rock with your axe is just a taste of things to come. Handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Uh, awesome upgrade. Split the stalls of your enemies and bring them gifts so they can get down and dirty. I'll show you what the real smut feels like. Huh. Okay. Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although some upgrades may call for unique components. I take it the facility is full of all kinds Produce, of stuff. Reduces it the loss of incoming kinetic impact force. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grow my interface with lust for abandon. I'm probably done with done here. Let's go. Oh, I don't have a video for it. Okay, the special mode that maintains the wheels as balance makes it impossible for them to fall during a strike. And we knocked down by an enemy attack. What does this do? Cartridge module inst is a cartridge that allows you for application of a thin layer of special chemical polymer for the weapon's blade, giving additional properties. Okay, so that's just like increased damage, I guess. So you've got the shotgun. You get a basic grip. Yeah, let's just get the basic grip on it. Cartridge module. Chemical aiming. Conventional aiming device super for firing at range. Uh, I don't. I don't have enough. I don't think. I already have it installed. Should I get a car? Oh, muzzle brake. Uh, improve firing stability. Reduces recoil and muzzle rise. Let's get it. And then barrel cartridge module. Uh, I'm in. You could get it, I guess, and try out. Or we could just upgrade upgrade the grip. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough of this either. Here we go. Our gun's a bit upgraded. And let's save. Got another message. What were the boulders with black bodies? Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Regular VOVA 6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want to ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out. Okay. Seems to be something over here. Is this where I got... But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something and knock it out with an EMP. Okay. How do I do the EMP exactly? I didn't read any anything. Or I could just do that. How do I EMP? Oh, I have an inventory. Uh, how do I... Oh, wait, no. I didn't want to move the axe to Nora. 
God damn it. I need to get the axe back from Nora now. How do I even use the hacker build? Oh, fine, I'll just go back to Nora. Can I go back to Nora? Yeah, I can. Oh uh, yeah, Nora, I, 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 don't, I really don't like you, but I need... Uh, there we go. Storage. There we go. Let's put all of these at the bottom row. There we go, like that. Oh yeah, and then I need to check for upgrades. Right, so... You can produce an electric charge and deal electric target things, electric damage robotic. Okay, but how do I do that? How do I use it though? I don't know how to use shock still because I didn't read anything. I need to get back up there anyway to look around a bit. Camera can't be back, right? Yeah, because we destroyed it. Oh, sorry about that, mate. This guy's just getting destroyed. Wait, can I throw a box at one of them? Hey, Chaz, Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had no. So he's not alone. But you said all his partners were eliminated, right? Who else is there? That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I'll get that. They say Monday begins on Saturday. I'd like you to really take the weekend off. Oh, well, they got me. National polarization is happening throughout the Soviet Union. On Monday, the 13th, our executive leader wants to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. There we go. Can't go through here. There we go. Now we can actually carry on with the main objective. Ugh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use okay. to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> oh, I was just up here. So every single place I go up to, I've already How much went there. How is it going to take to fix this damn place? I agree. It's a troubling sight. Regardless... Robots will be able to repair the damage quite quickly. I seriously doubt the folks here are going to want anything to do with robots after this. Aha! 
You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Yeah, I have been here, okay. I need to go back the other way. I'm pretty sure there's a golden axe skin as well from a DLC, but that's the only DLC you don't get from the deluxe, because I know there's four DLCs, but you only get three of them in the premium, not deluxe, in premium, which is already £90. So, I mean... Bit annoying that you have to buy that one separately. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. Ahem. It's not very convincing, is it, Charles? You know, we'd like a positive uh, mindset right now, this is Charles. A security system with a laser relay. Mm -hmm. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately. Uh, comrade, about functionality of the decoder, your yeah, promotion, okay. I won't read all of this. You have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. Passive, unlock the passive security relay functionality by putting the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. This needs to be blue. Yeah. There we go. On. Let's head back. Okay, so so far the little mini game hacks and locks aren't well, too bad. Which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Yeah, I'm going the one on the left. Wait, can I not? Oh, I can. Aha, I won't listen to you, Charles. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Oh, V for shock. Okay. It's already dead. Well, it's a robot, so I can't... You, get, you, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, I've already been here. This is the starting location. Except I didn't have shock then, so I couldn't get through. Yeah, I know, shock. Well, now I know. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck, man. Oh my god! How are you alive? Jesus Christ. That's a hard to fight. Oh, nice. Oh, I got shotgun blueprint. Let's go. Let's. Access granted. Okay, thank God. Abilities. So we can only get abilities from the other ones, but from Nora we can get whatever. What is it? Shock electrifies enemies. Oh, I'd like that. Could come very handy in combat. Save. Okay, come on. Now let's try fight. Come on. Let's use shock as well. There we go. Works quite well. Continue searching for vi 
Oh. I just have to dodge these then. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. Yeah, I've learned that already. Wonder where we'll end up. Oh, I got another shift. I'm holding shift. There we go. Finally. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. There's the control Another panel. puzzle. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Okay. Uh, Who's talking? What was that? Oh, it's one of those mind things. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Just like everything here. They won't go. No, they won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Okay. Where's the schematic? Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? The schematic. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? Station master has it. make it. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Uh. Okay. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? Station master, find him. Find him. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. Okay. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade Major? You know, I fought in the whole war from the beginning to end. I've seen some shit. The talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. I should probably search this. Ooh. A handle. Okay, well we need to get the schematic. Just where is the schematic? Where's the station master? I mean, what do I need to do? Where is the schematic? Oh, is that the... Is that the station master? There it is. What? I'm the station master. I can get there with my eyes closed. We'll make it. 
I have no idea what that is. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the oh. problem line is not in, right? Crudely speaking, the option as it fades away from the low polymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? Spruce three. Somewhere between a month and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. I hope this works. Okay, well we got it eventually. This is definitely going to be destroyed or something. I already know it. Come on now. It's obvious. Up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Yeah, definitely. One of them is gonna crash directly into us, isn't it? Oh, no, that happens instead. Is that a robot? Well, that was a grand waste of time. Uh, I knew it was going to be rough. Oh, shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move. Shock him. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier, not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Of course I have training. Okay, well, I expected to actually get up, but no. Holy shit. Whoops! That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive a time. Ah. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Oh. Oh, well. I did not see that one coming. I have to redo this again. again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Ow. Holy oh, shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive a time. So I do need to watch out. Because if I don't, it will, it will insta-kill me. I mean, I walked right into it. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. The rods can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. So be it. God damn it, I didn't...
That's not my fault. It only comes out when I actually get there. Shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Well, I'm happy that you're glad, I guess. Charles. Oh, come on. I literally... Yep, I know how a pipe works. But, I mean, I literally landed there. Um, boom. Holy shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. Yeah. Wouldn't survive it time. Come on, I literally <sighs> why is the climbing in this game so slow? That I'm not asking for it to be as quick as like dying lights. It, it just feels clunky, I don't know why. Like, unnecessarily restricted. Like that, I... How the hell did I not make it up there? If I'm literally, if I literally can't go any further on the line, then what am I supposed to do? This is literally as far as I can get. Charles, that was a good off, right? A tunnel you know by. Indeed it was. The rods can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. Oh, the what are you talking about? The blue rods. Our finest product. Russia. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Cameron? Uh you worked? You worked on the Burras? From the world. Well, just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything. Uh-huh. Okay. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hook it on the surface. Oh! Surprised it doesn't insta kill me. Seal. Ow. 
Ow. Hey, this is my stuff. Okay, well, I made it somehow. Oh, is that a new weapon? The Fox Blueprint. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. You see one? That means there's something important on the other side. What happened? Oh! Oh, hi, Nora. Uh huh. Just give me laser protection. Character. Alright, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, Stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, yes! Punish me, Master! I love dominant nails. Whose idea was this? Your defense system is active. Try to move around. That hurts. Oh my health. I think that's a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word. Okay, got a cutscene, it seems like. Don't worry, honey, I'm right as rain. The operation containment. Must be such a nice guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. That scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. Right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Okay. What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Okay. What the hell are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey! I mean, come on. Did you really not see that coming, Comrade? I dodged. Ow, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Oh, I, I do want to heal. Attention all co-workers. Please listen to this server and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Flowers from the lab may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Okay. 
Well, I wasn't planning on taking any of them home. Nothing. Ooh, a Makarov. Got eight bullets. With them. I want to be their equal, and I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We talked about this a hundred times, and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. Oh, there's a weapon wheel. have to carry it like this. The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well... I expected it to at least, like, when I throw something, to... Oh, I need to shock these. There we go. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on that cases, metallic or otherwise. True. to watch out they don't crush me oh yeah that sounds like Petrov's voice I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor we need Petrov alive hurry major what the fuck does it look like I'm doing huh? oh don't touch me ah I don't do too much damage do they it looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Need to climb up here? Yeah, we do, okay. Oh, okay. It's in here. Is that a blueprint? Well, maybe if my aim was better, then it would have been more effective. What's this? Well, what do we have here? Another door of some kind. Oh, 
I'm guessing some of these polymer things are just for law, because you can hear people talking. Ow. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You redheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. I've got one. Yeah, so I got one. Still need the other two. Is that how many times I need to do it? Song. But I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Megadam of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences. Oh no, I was supposed to do it this way. Oh. oh, yeah, I saw the blueprint for that gun. Not that lady robot curve again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Electro. Uh, Create. What? You killed someone again? Monster. What is that? It looks like a little so laser long. pistol from yeah, Fallout. Yeah. Oh, it's energy. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Okay, I've got this new axe as well. Inefficient resources. How do I... Can I... Uh... uh, uh Is there a way I can like upgrade? Does it cost anything to inst yeah it does, okay. I need to get the fox next. Disassemble. Right. Bring me this. How do I disassemble it? Storage. Disassemble. I could disassemble it and then get the other axe. I'll do it. I can get this now. So if I don't need anything, I could just disassemble it. Except for I'm getting the free items, I can't disassemble. Let it slot and let's put it. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's nice and quick. 
Can I upgrade it? Arsenal upgrade. Steel blade. Oh, it already has some things on it as well. That's cool. Don't need a cartridge. Could get another... What is that? You. What can we use for craft? Oh, I can get these frequently. Okay. There we go. It's nice and upgraded. Consumption when firing. Ooh. Well, at least with Charles, energy weapons, I don't need to. The the Why would the don't to need to use the any ammo. Mirror? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves, and the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitor's piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair. Okay, so we got the last two now. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. Okay, well, it works. It doesn't take any ammo. Often, don't forget to learn. Okay. It's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Okay, well, I think I'm actually going to end the video here. What's that? Electromagnetic barrel. So, what will it be, Major? Weapon or ability? Shoot better. Uh, but the upgrades. Increases damage. So this is the best barrel. I need to s okay. I need to save up four so I could get the best barrel for my shotgun. I promise not to use it on anything else. So, anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first Atomic Heart video. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what this game has in store in store for us. So make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to step to down all my future content. Especially my Atomic Heart videos coming up. Make sure to stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Good. Bye.